Hi there, in this tutorial I want to cover preparing a base map to be a topo overlay on a digitized geological map. So when you digitize your map you're just going to digitize the uh, geological mapping and you're going to reuse this uh, vector um, topo map. So we'll just look at the example map that I'm using for digitizing and what you can probably see here is that the extent of this topo map doesn't quite match up with this um, uh, scan field map so I'll just adjust this a little bit Um, I've set the scale to 1 5000 which maps the scale of um, field mapping. So what I want to do is just uh, adjust the um, the data frame here. So I'm just going to bring it in a little bit from each side. Uh, bring it into about there. And then I'm just going to pan it up a little bit. And I think it just needs to come in a little bit more, this is kind of fiddly because of the way ArcGIS handles um, scaling the data frame. It uh, treats everything as if you're scaling from the center, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So, so now that I've got that pretty much right, we're kind of avoiding that extra white space we had to have around the outside. Now the easiest option um, for exporting this is just to export it as is and if your uh, field map doesn't quite um, match this rectangular boundary then you can just draw a, a, neat, a neat line along here so you'll still see the topo here but there'll be a nice, you could do a thick line across here. Um, the other option is actually clipping the data frame so that's what I'm going to cover now. So there are a couple of methods for clipping the data frame. The preferred method is to uh, create a, a shapefile. So the way to create a shapefile, uh, you could do a feature class and a file to your database as well. Uh, I'm just going to do this in this home folder. Uh, so I'll go home, new, and it's just popped off the screen here, but there's uh, shape folders, one of the options down there. And we're going to choose a polygon, and we're going to call it bounds. And we're going to edit the spatial reference, and we'll choose NZGD2000. If you don't have this in your favourites list, you should have it if you're working in New Zealand. Um, otherwise, you can go to projected national grids and find it there under New Zealand just go OK and you see that pops up on the right hand side here and then the next thing I'm going to do is we can either edit it by clicking in here and choosing edit features start editing the other option is we can with this editing toolbar if you don't have the editing toolbar you can go to customize toolbars and then editor so go to editor and start editing and you can see on this list here that we've got bounds there so we choose that as the layer we want to edit. Uh, the only the limitation here is that ArcGIS can only edit shapes within a, a single folder or file geo database so we'll just use bounds there. Um, now that should have brought up a create features box but it hasn't um, so I can just go editor, editing windows, create features and now we've got it on the right hand side here um, and you should have a template here so if you click on this bounds one and we want to do a polygon then you notice when you come into the map window uh, one thing I should point out here is that you can do this editing either in layout view or in data view so it doesn't matter for this type of feature. 
So I think I'll just give myself a little bit more room here. Let's just and then I'm going to start here. Click. Click. I think that comes up actually a wee bit there. Click. And this should be about here. And then come across to about there. So I'm just excluding that bit. Then when I finish I can just right click and choose finish sketch. So since we've finished editing now, if we wanted to edit this, we can use this tool up here, the edit tool, which is an editing toolbar. You just double click on that and then you can move some of these nodes around. So we go, if we've, we're happy enough with this, we can go save edits as we're editing, or we can do stop editing and choose to save our edits then. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is clip the data frame to that. So we choose this in properties. So data frame properties, there's many ways you can get to data frame properties. We're in the data frame tab and we're going to choose clip to shape. Then we're going to specify the shape. Then we're going to do outline of features and choose bounds. Okay. Okay, so let's clip that stuff outside here. Now you notice that we still get this green box. Um, so all we need to do is just turn off bounds and then we've got our nicely clipped map. You can also clip the graticule if you want to do that. Um, so that's the first method for clipping. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll cover the other method and also Uh, and then the third one I'll cover exporting. Thanks very much.